Hi, this is a quick demo video to show an alternative method to flashing the firmware in one of these GoTech USB floppy emulators. Now, the normal way to do this is to use uh, one of these little USB TTL serial converters, but uh, the STM32 chip used in the GoTech actually has a built-in USB bootloader, so you can actually upgrade the firmware without any additional hardware. To do this, you'll need, um, obviously, your floppy emulator. Uh, one of these USB-A to USB-A cables. Now these are technically non-standard, but um, they're extremely easy to get hold of and they're used in a lot of external USB hard drives and stuff like that. Now the first thing you need to do is set up the jumpers on this little programming header at the back of the GoTech unit. Now I've made a drawing of the connections to make. Um, this is the normal one you make, that's just to enable the bootloader, that's the boot zero pin of the microcontroller. Um, but you also need to make this additional one, that's to bring the USB voltage detection up to 5 volts uh, so it thinks it's connected to a USB host, uh, which of course it is. Once you've made the necessary connections, uh, it's literally just a case of using your USB A to A cable to plug the GoTech unit into one of the USB ports on your PC. So that's one end of it, and it just goes straight into the USB port on your PC. If everything's gone okay, it will appear in Device Manager as an STM device in DFU mode. Now the next thing you need to do is get the STM32 DFU utilities. Um, I've already installed them here, but I'll give you a link to them at the bottom of the video. Now even though you've installed the DFU utilities, you might still have to manually install the driver for the STM device in DFU mode. You just do that from the Devices and Printers menu. Um, that's just in uh, Start menu, Devices and Printers. Um, just right click on the STM device, go to Properties, and then it's Hardware, properties again, driver, update driver, and then uh, browse my computer, and you, and you have to point it at its C drive, program files, then ST microelectronics, software, defuse, and then it's bin driver, and then it'll be, you know, Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1, and then whether you're 64-bit uh, or 32-bit. But um, I'm sure you'll be used to doing that by now. Um, you start off by firing up DFU File Manager. Um, you want to generate a DFU file from S19 hex or bin files. So we go OK there. We pick the hex file we want to program, which in this case is the Cortex Amiga floppy emulator. We then generate a DFU file for it. So we'll just call that Cortex.DFU. So that's good. And now we go to the other program that gets installed as part of the DFU utils, that's Defuse Demo. Now, as you can see, it's detected our STM device. That's all good. Now, um, just select Internal Flash, because that's all you want to do. Go to Choose, find your DFU file you just created. And then it's literally just a case of clicking Upgrade. Now, um, the Cortex by default comes with read protection, so you'll have to remove that, but just go yes. Um, after this point, though, you can never restore the GoTech back to its original state, so uh, uh, make sure you're okay with that before you click yes. It'll ask you this question, but uh, it's fine. And there it goes, programming. And we're done. Unfortunately, you can't use this approach to install the HXC 2001 firmware. Um, this is because HXC uses uh, these USB serial converters as a form of copy protection and that the installer actually speaks directly to these, so uh, it won't even attempt to install it unless it sees one of these present. I did speak to the guy behind the HXC firmware and he said he might be open to building a USB version of the installer in the future, but he's got no plans to do so as yet. So uh, if you want to use HXC 2001, you'll, uh, you'll still have to use one of these.